Hey everybody, it's What's New Thursday. Peter's behind the camera. Say hey, Peter. Hi, everybody. We uh, we just got our cross-stitch gals back. They went to Amana, Iowa, Nancy and Lenine. And so, uh, Lenine's, Lenine's trying to catch up on her work, and Nancy's trying to catch up on her work. So we've got fabric. We'll have to, <laughs> we'll have to have Peter take a picture. Her desk is piled high because she was gone for three days. That's all it took but to get her way behind. And I helped her. And really, the fabric didn't all come in until Friday. So it wasn't like, you know... I mean, she did fine. She's she's getting caught up, but there's a lot of fabric coming in, and so we're going to have three or four lines to show you today, but there's even more coming. But this line just came in. That's why we're back here at my desk, because they gave me the Fat Quarter Bundle, and it's from Bittertex. It's Kimberly. We've, we've Imo. Had a, Imo. Okay, we've had a debate about how to say her name. Kimberly Imo's fabric that just came out. It's super stinking cute. It's called Rue, I think is the name of the line. Rueville. Okay, thanks, Nancy. Called Rueville. You know why it's called Rueville? There's a kangaroo. Is she from Australia? I don't know that. I don't know. But did you see the little baby kangaroo that was in, that the zookeepers found that they saw hidden in the little kangaroo pouch and they didn't know that the kangaroo was pregnant? <gasps> oh, well. And I think it was our zoo. Apparently she'd been out with someone she shouldn't have. I think it was our zoo. Was it our zoo? And I she think got so. pregnant and nobody knew? Yep. Until they saw the Naughty little things. until they saw the little baby uh, <laughs> poking out like little's head peeking out well, the pouch. That they must have been there real because I think it seems to me kangaroos are like born in the pouch and then they have to grow to a certain point and they don't even so well naughty naughty. Good for her. Way to go, lady. Okay. So I'm gonna show you this. We're gonna scan through this fabric because this line is so cute. Rueville by Kimberly. And it's got plenty of cute skews. I, I just see some fun things happening. I don't know. We're working on getting the patterns right now. There's some free patterns, and um, we got, we're got we getting connected on that. So we'll see what we can come up with. Just the free pattern's really, really cute. Look at this. Can we get this in the picture? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yep. If I can. Hold it up. Hold it up. Here's the free pattern, and I like that. Isn't that pretty? Which one's free? The top right one? Right here. This one on top. So we'll have that pattern for sure, and we'll have copies of that. That would translate into a lot of things. How big is that? 74 by 74. That's even a good size. So anyhow, first thing new. So here, I'm just going to scroll through these and let, let Peter just put the eye candy on it, and we'll get it focused. But you know what I love are these tone on tones, these, this purple and the blue, and it's the same pattern. This would be great for a nursery. Look, it's got like toucans and kangaroos and yeah, we're going to call them ginkgo leaves and koalas and um, pretty leaves and stuff. So there's the green color in that. Look how pretty that one is. That's a nice, bright, vivid green. It is a nice green. This would make a great kid's quilt. There's a nice goldenrod. I call that kind of goldenrod yellow, mustard yellow. And this tone on tone, we both like that. Yeah, I love that one. I do too. That that'd be sweet for a nursery, in a nursery quilt. And then she did the same. Now these are leaves. I love these kind of feathery leaves. And she did these. These come in a color too, but these are just kind of the line drawings of them. It'd be a great binding, actually. Oh my gosh! I love that for a binding. Yeah. Um, I, I love this fabric a lot. I do too. It's got a great hand to it too. Back to our touch of vision problem. It really has a nice. Nice quality to it. I was ordering fabric this morning with one of our sales reps, and you know, s some fabrics feel better than others. This one feels really, really good. This one's, I love that. That's kind of my colored vibe going on. Yeah, man. it's got that blue and that teal yep. and that light and, and this sage in the background. It looks metallic. It's not, but it's got kind of a glowy to it almost. It's really, really kind of pretty. Here's your pinks and purple peoples. And this piece, I like this. That's just bright mm -hmm. and sunny. That's fun. Um, there's an aqua. Now this is like a, just a flower. I love this all over. I do. I do too. This would this cut would nice. piece so well. It would, and it's got like the darker color in the back. This is great to have with the grunges, in my opinion, with that oh, mother yeah. grunge. That would be good with because they grunge. have those deeper, solid, more solid, deeper mm -hmm. colors. The free spirit solids would do good with this too. So these are just nice, these are just a nice blender collection. And there there are the kangaroos and the koalas and things, but look at this great print. 
You know what that'd be good for? I know the English paper piece, and look how you could pick those little parts out. You could do little three eighth inch yes hexes and have these little designs, and then put them all so uh -huh. the points come so together. The points come together. Mm, okay, with like a solid in the middle. Yep. And look at the black one. I love that. Here's in white. Now, how is that different? Wait a minute. The other one was white. Now I'm confused. Oh, the other one was had a background color. Got it. So we got it with a kind of a green background, a white background, or a black background. I like that. What a great little print. Okay, then these were the ones. So I, I this one is good. I like this one. But wait, it gets better. This one really is pretty. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. That's just yumminess. And then oh, it, and here's the featured present. No. Nope. Yeah. These are the features. Wait, oh yeah, we're there. We're there. We're there. Feature These are the presentation. Features. Look at that. So that was the line drawings and the tone on tones that she did before, but now it's colorized. And I'm just Love it. Isn't that fun? Look at these little palm fronds up here with these little like eyeball kind of things. Those were really cool. Look at it in black. Oh, does it pop? Stunning. Stunning, stunning. And then here it is on white. So this is called Rue. It's from the Benner Text Company. Kimberly, um, I don't know if she's going to do a, a program. She sometimes does like block of the months and sew along things and all that. Um, so we'll be watching to hope that maybe we'll get something like that connected with her. But that's a fun line. Okay, so while I'm back here, just because, you know, it's getting a little busy out front. I've got my little list. I want to tell you about a couple classes we've got coming. Um, Janet's Drop Stitch Scarf. Beautiful. That <gasps> thing is amazing. It's it a, is so pretty. It is really, really pretty. I mean, what a good skill to learn, too. Yes, yes. You're back with the phones. You get to hear the phones ring. Um, but it's a really cool class. I would suggest, I'm looking on my computer real quick here because I'm going to tell you when it starts. Um, Too left. Do you think a, binner, a beginner could do that, Peter, that drop stitch scarf? Do you think that's uh, a good We'd one? have to look at the prerequisites on the class page and see if they need to know how to knit. Like what the prereqs are. Because mm. she might have prereqs on that one. I don't yeah. know. Okay, here it is. Drop stitch scarf. So I'm on our website. If you've not used our website, it is super. I, I mean, I have access to our point of sale program, and I go to our website to get information. That's just how easy it is. Student must be able to cast on stitches, knit, yarn over, and count rows knitted. So there you go. So, so, so they're calling it intermediate. Um, but it's a lacy drop stitch scarf made from a fancy yarn. It could be a last minute Christmas gift. So you're looking for that. And it just uses one skate of yarn and is an eight row repeat using of knitting using a size seven or eight needle. So I would suggest you hook up in that class. It's a $10 class. Is that crazy? That's it. That's all. Plus your materials. I'd be totally down with that. Matter of fact, I might have to sign up for that. You should sign up for it's that. It's November 15th, which is going to be on a Wednesday, and it's from 1 to 3. So How that's, many spots? There are seven seats still available. Ooh, good. So Yeah, so I would suggest if you're looking for a knitting class, it would be a great one. Janet's a wonderful teacher. You'd really in love, uh, get in love with knitting by t taking her class. The other one she's doing is a textured lip stitch cowl. Okay, say that four times in a row. Textured who? Textured slip stitch cowl. I thought you said lip stitch. I'm like, <laughs> what the heck's a lip stitch? <laughs> this one's really pretty too. There's a sample in this shop. This has three sessions. So it's a $39 class. And they're November 21st, December 5th, and December 19th. Another one you can have done in time for Christmas. She's asking for a beginner level on this. So there you go. Um... It has a shorter cowl and a longer cowl that can be as a wrap, so it just depends on what you want to, how you want to make it. Um, and the website has all the information. It has about the pictures to too, the Picture. yummy scrumptious pictures. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's one you can hook up into. Good stash buster. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that would be good for that. That's a good idea. Um, and then Mary Bouvier, who you guys are familiar with, we, we keep bringing up her classes. They're just wonderful. She's actually doing a free motion, which has really, 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 really been popular. Sells out pretty quickly. Um, free motion quilting in November. It's a $70 class, and it's two sessions, November 21st and November 28th from 12 to 4. This is one where you're going to bring your sewing machine and she's going to help you learn how to do free motion quilting. Eight hours of jam-packed instruction. <sighs> yeah. 
That is that is so worth it. It is worth every penny. I I've anybody who's taken that class has come out of it. And we had a gal who took that class who brought her quilt in, and it was stunning. Yeah. I mean, you could go to you could sign up for something like that where it's like a quilt retreat seminar and pay like two hundred and forty bucks. Oh yeah. For that quality and that level that she teaches and her knowledge. Yeah, she she is a award winning quilter. Very much worth taking a class with Mary Bouvier. I would not miss that class if you can if you can get signed up to it. And then she also has a fabric painting class. It's a sixty dollar class. It's one session. It's from twelve to four, and she provides the supplies for that class. And she brings in some beautiful um, paints for you to work with. And it's just a really, really, really. That's another class they come out of, and everybody's like, "Look what I did! I'm so proud of it." So that's a couple classes we've got coming, and then. I'm not going to tell you yet because Lenine's here and she can hear and I want I don't want her to know what we're going to do because it's a surprise. Um, but there's something I'm going to talk about at the end of the video about what's coming might be maybe a special sale. I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to talk about it yet. But there's a sale coming. So stay tuned because we're going to talk about that when we get out on the sales floor. See you out there in just a minute. Guys, I'm up at our cutting table. Customers in the building, so if you hear some noise in the background, it's just because we're having fun. We always have fun in here, don't we, Peter? We always have fun. Oh, this is the place to be. It's the fun happening, hopping in shop. So I want to show you some things. Some hopping these, like a kangaroo. <laughs> hopping like a kangaroo, yeah. I want to show you some things. Um, some of these we actually bought when we were at Quilt Market, and they're already here. I mean, that is so cool. This is something that was really I, I was excited about. I saw these at... Um, at Quilt Market, and they are, they are silicone tipped items for holding down things when you're trying to iron. So you know like if you're doing applique or even if you're doing borders or bindings and you can't get your iron where you want it because your fingers might get run over? <laughs> That's what these are for. I just am really That's excited. Smart. Let me Isn't that a, smart? Let me come in for a close-up. Hey, Peter, now Peter, tell me what you thought they were. I thought they were spreading butter on your croissant <laughs> or your English muffin. Or makeup brushes, maybe. They kind of look like me. But they're just silicone tipped, and they're different shapes. I'm doing a quilt that has applique on it, and I really am excited to have these because I think it's going to help me with my applique. Position Sorry. and Position press. Position and press, yeah. Silicone tools. So. Oh, I get it now because the silicone is easier to grip the fabric and like kind of manipulate it just ever so slightly. And it won't burn like my finger will. It won't burn. <laughs> or if it does, it doesn't care. Not like my finger would care. And, you know, you can tell a quilter because they don't have any fingertips. Like, they could totally be in witness okay, protection. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I know what the perfect combo is. What's that? The clover mini iron. <laughs> the one that gets super hot. Yeah, that it's, burns It you. should be over there on that. Yeah. Like right here on the side of this display right here. That little mini oh, iron. One. Okay. Yes. All yes. right, but let me just tell you, I love this iron. That with oh. those little silicone pressing tool. Dream team right here. Dream team. Dream team. This iron is the bomb. The bomb because it's so small, but it would you could put it on the surface of the sun and the sun would get a sunburn. That's how hot this thing gets. And it's great because it really, really, really gets hot. And it gets in all those little corners and things. Yeah. So when I'm making bags, I make a lot of handbags, you guys know. And this this little iron is my friend. Now, I will tell you, I, I'm very careful where I lay it because if I bump into it or if it falls off and lands on the sun, it, will burn, it really will burn the face of the sun. Um, now, I don't have this one. I might have to try this one. This one looks kind of cool. Ooh, Look, that it's looks like the fancy. Version. It's called, yeah, it is. It's the Mini Iron 2. The adapter. The Look adapter. At that. Now, see, they're using it there for exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, for it that It has little... this little stand to sit it on. Eh, I'm okay with the stand. But look at this, like, protector around it. I know that's why it's there. Because this rod right here, this part gets so hot. You can straighten your hair so it's good. Oh, this, so hot. Is, this makes a curling iron obsolete. I mean, <laughs> but love these tools. I, I like hot, crisp lines, but I don't want to put a big iron plate on something. So this is going to let me get to those little places. Those little irons are going to be small enough. I, I'm, matter of fact, I didn't get a set of these. I got to take better get home. a set. I know. I got to take them home with me. Um, okay. The other thing that we got when we were we saw there is this. I haven't tried it, but I've heard it's amazing. This is a matte cleaning pad. So it says matte cleaning pad, 
And what I'm to understand, so, you know, we have these, what are supposed to be self-healing mats. And the problem is, and ours is a perfect example, we have cut so many times, we, there's no way this could ever heal. We've cut the mat away. But when you cut a single line and your fabric gets stuck down in that hole, the fabric prevents the healing mat from healing. So this will go in there and you rub it like this and it takes the threads or the fuzz or the batting or whatever it is out and then your healing mat can heal. If you buy a new mat and start with one of these, the life of your mat will be longer. So um, unfortunately, we should be like the test dummies for mats because we really beat them up here because we run them to death. But if I had, if I was, if I had a mat, or even the gal that did the demo said she had a mat that was old that had a lot of holes in it, and she used this, and it actually helped it too. So, and you know, it did pull some fibers out. Look at that. There's little fibers there that it's pulled out. I can see them. I don't know if they're showing up on your thing, but there's little fibers. I can see them. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of junk on there. A lot there. of junk on there. And that was just from one, two swipes. Yeah, so this is another one that's got to go home with me. One less to sell. But I'm hearing this works really good. So we got these, um, heard lots and lots of good things about them. So that's a fun thing. Um, the other thing we saw were these little kitchen towels. And they're from Laundry Basket Quilts, which is Edita Sitar, if you're familiar with Edita. And um, I'm going to open this one because... They're like a microfiber weight. Um, they're not, and Peter was like, well, see, it's it's like a microfiber. This would really dry your dishes and things. Look how pretty that is. What a great Oh Christmas my God, present. that's beautiful. See, wouldn't that be a great I didn't Christmas even realize present? how pretty that was. Yeah, it is very pretty. I don't know why they ship them to us in a package. Well, you can't see how fun they are. But I know. If I've got like a quality Hold on, crystal, I'm coming in for the touch of vision Okay, touch of vision feel it. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is not like your regular microfiber towel. Like your microfiber no. towels usually have that generic like texture. This is woven. Like they put that woven pattern in there. It's very nice. That's I th awesome. I think if I was giving somebody like I love you know, it. we have the spatulas. And that dries quick, right? It microfiber would dry does. Quick. And we, we have those spatulas, you know, that we have that are so, so cute. I would give somebody for Christmas a dish towel. Let me go get them. A spatula. Come with me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, here's your here's your Christmas present. Okay, look. I feel like, you know what I feel like we are? I feel like we're that home shopping network. We are, okay. Like HSN. So here we go. So there's my, there's my little mug. The Peter and Cappy HSN. Here we are. Not affiliated. So we have to talk about it until they buy 500 of them or something? Yeah. Okay, and then here's my little towel. Look at this whole set I've got right here for him. Okay, maybe I don't like the sand. Maybe I like this snowman. Oh, that's nice. I like snowman. the snowman. snowman. Is that a snowman, snowman cookie cutter? It's a snowman cookie cutter what? and a spatula and a dish towel and a mug. Okay, let's look at the handle. Is that Santa on the handle it is Santa. of the oh, mug? Oh, look at how cute he is. What? Look at his happy face. I can't. I can't. Jingle all the way. Oh, look, wait, there's these down here. Look at these. These are fun too. That's just two spatulas. Look at the reindeer wearing a sweater. Okay, you got a knitter. Oh, now wait a minute. I need those in my life. I know. You got a knitter. I'm a knitter. Okay. I do fair aisle. You do fair aisle. There you go. I Your like sweaters deer. all over floss tube. I love that. I love that. So wait, see, what's my price? Oh, we got plenty of those. Okay, I'm good. Ten ninety nine for the two spatulas. I didn't know if I was gonna have to give somebody my money so, and say ring this up for so me. So I'm just saying, cute Christmas idea, and it's it's mid November. This is it. This is it. Crunch it's, time. It's crunch time, man. Get that Christmas shopping done. Have it all done by the 1st of December. And then when you put up your tree and do all that fun stuff, you won't have any stress because your Christmas shopping will all be done. So, anyway, this is a really fun towel. I'm liking these a lot. I love that. I know. See? You weren't even enjoying it. And then here's the other version. Um, here's another version. This one's pretty too. And you know what? This is actually Christmas too as I look at it. It's got pine cones on it. Look how pretty this one is. Oh, that's pretty. I bet you Nancy doesn't know about these microfiber Christmas tree towels. I oh. know. Did you get one? Did, but did you open it up and look at it? Did you see how pretty it is? I saw the big picture. Did you in this one? Look at this one. The tree. Yeah. I think that has Nancy's name on it. You know what? We have an employee gift exchange. I'm thinking I'm going to get this. <laughs> Can we do that instead of an ornament? I think maybe we should. I'm 
off for that because me too. I, can't I can't either. I think this year we just do smalls. I think this year our Christmas party. I'm gonna have to fold these back in, but I'm not gonna do that on camera because that might be a little scary. Usually I leave these things for Pam because Pam's yeah. the nice one and Pam knows how to fix them. <laughs> Look at her. She's giving me the snake snake eye. Okay. Other thing. Here we go. So maybe your your knitter, stitcher, cross stitcher person is not a, not one that likes to cook. Maybe they just like to sit and stitch. Here's a couple pair of socks for them. These socks, I actually own some of the socks that were made by the Moda company for these. That's what these are for, or from. They're from Moda, and they are the best socks. They wear beautifully. They just wash and wear and wash and wear and wash and wear and wash and wear. And wash and wear. Um, so there you go. There's a couple pair of socks, and then calendars. I am really trying to be their Christmas Wait, why, shopping. Why the calendars? Well, it's going to be 2024 in about a month and a half. Oh, no. Can you believe it? Oh, no. I can't even believe it's 2024. I mean, I can't even. I'm still, like, in 1999. I'm surprised we made it to 2020. <laughs> 2024 shocking. Anyway, this is really fun. This is Lori Holt being my mom. You know what I found out? You know what my boss told me? What? That's you. Oh. You told me that December was a three paycheck month. It is. That December. makes me happy. <laughs> yeah. We get three paychecks in December this year, but there's only four paychecks left this year and we're done. Can you hear the people in the background? I love that noise. The party. I love hearing customers. Yada, 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 yada. That just, that makes my heart feel good. They're having fun. That's great. Okay, so Lori B, Lori Holt, B in my bonnet. This is her hometown calendar. Oh, and that's cool. Isn't it pretty? And it has all these fun little so if you're, if you're pictures okay on it. That, it. Oh, wow. Isn't that fabulous? And she's she's a sweet sweet quilter. I love her stuff. So this is a calendar if you want to do that. And let me see if it has what it's got in it. Open that thing up. Open that thing up. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that nice? They're big enough you can write things on. You know what? Those people who do um, like stamping and stuff, I take those calendar pages and you can use them in your scrapbooking. That's a good idea. Oh, like yeah. after, like either before the year or during yeah. the year. Yeah, as you're done the with year. the year, just take it for scrapbooking. And then this one, of course, is near and dear to my heart. This is Kaif. Um, I did get to go to his schoolhouse when we were in Houston and see his quilts. Um, and so this is a year of color with Kaif. 13 month calendar with beautiful images featured from his books. And this is all the pictures you're going to get. Again, this is one of those things you can almost take the pictures when it's done and frame them and just put them on a wall because they're that pretty. His colors are just oh, to die for. So if you're looking for a calendar, great gift, quick and easy. And it's that time of year. We, calendars go fast here. I'm not sure how we sell so many calendars. Calendars and puzzles. They do. We sell a lot of calendars and puzzles. And then this, okay, I'm totally, I'm going to, I'll, I'm going to show you the picture of my set that I put together like this. I saw this and was absolutely blown away. So what happens here, look at this picture on the back, and I took it out so you can see the sleeve. You put your thread in this container, and then this red bar across here, you take a needle and you pull the top of the thread out of that red little piece of fabric. So I threaded the, threaded the spool threaded one piece of thread off the spool, push that through this little red piece here, and now when I want to pull a piece of thread off of that spool, I just pull it out and I never take the spools out of this bag. And all my spools are organized and I just pull it through and I've got a little pocket down here at the bottom. This, I saw this at an event, at one of the trainings we went to and I just was like, oh my goodness, gotta have it. There it is. It's a great size. You got enough room for plenty of spools. The bigger ones or the thin ones, whichever kind you buy, the, the Orphil, the Guterman, you know, bigger spools too. And then there's a little pocket down here for some extra stuff. This is genius. This is the best idea I've seen, especially if you do applique, English paper piecing. Shoot, even if you just do like, um, if you're just sewing on, your, on, on just hand sewing or bindings, 
You just put all your spools in here and all you have to do is pull the thread And talk through. about taking up no space in the sewing room. Oh. You can hang it next to your sewing machine and then just use it as a yep. pouch. You absolutely can. I mean, I just, this was Love brilliant. That. When they showed this, and this is Kay Buckley, so you know it's a good product because Miss Kay <laughs> is a smart gal. Um, perfect thread bag is what it's called. And I, I, I will send a picture of mine so you all can see it because it, I got this put together and I put it in my English paper pacing package that I store all my English paper pieces in and I was I was I was just having an aha moment as Oprah would say it was so pleasant to know that all my threads were there together all my colors were sorted they're not gonna get tangled they're not gonna get mixed up all I need to do when I just pull that thread out put it through the eye of the needle and I'm good to go so this was a great great product Another and, one that and came how easy is it if you got your spools in there and they're all lined up all the colors right next to each other and you have a fabric and you're trying to figure out which thread to use the quilt with maybe sew binding or maybe match or whatever piece or quilt it's it's all right there yeah. it's the information is right there easy for you to get to and access and use well i can color swatch so yep. I, it's just like having a color swatch so i can just yes. go oh, this color works that color works. and i wouldn't have to i could put 80 weight i could put 40 weight i could put you know whatever thread that i'm the using. 100 weight the 100 weight 100 silk weight. Oh, yeah exactly these I think are going to be, this is a great Christmas present. If you've got a, a hand stitcher in your family, this would be perfect for that. Okay, we're going to show you some fabric now. Promised you fabric. This line just came in and I will tell you in the back, um, some of our staff were opening the boxes and they were ooing and aahing because they couldn't wait to get a hold of it. So another one that's going to go quickly. So I'm going to show you this puzzle. Peter mentioned we always have puzzles for sale and people love our puzzles. This puzzle goes perfectly with this fabric. So here's what you do. You buy the puzzle and you buy the fabric to make a quilt. And then when you can't get the quilt done for Christmas, you give them the puzzle and you say, guess what's coming? You'll get a quilt, but it's going to look sort of like this puzzle. Here is the fabric. They've got a panel hung up, but I'm going to unroll one for you because I want you to see how fun this is. Look at this. That I just want to go shopping. You want to go shopping, Peter? Yeah. We can get all of our Christmas shopping done today. Well, I want to go shopping at this farm stand. That's what I want to do. This just looks yummy. I love that sky. I do too. I love the sky. and I love. Oh, now we have pattern. Let me just show you. Here's an apron pattern. It's hanging with it. Now here's my idea. So you take this panel and you make an apron out of it. So you can get the sky at the top. And you can cut the bottom to make the straps. I think that would be super fun as an apron. Just a really fun, you know, apron. Very cool. I love it. I love That's it a good idea. Yep. But if the panel's not like making you go, aha, I need that. Let me show you the fabrics because the fabrics are adorbs. So here's what we've got. Chickens. Chickens are like the thing now. Everybody's getting chickens and having their own chickens, even in like towns. So I have a cousin. She's a, she's a chicken lady too. Chickens. We've got flowers. So we have sunflowers. Sunflowers always do well. People love sunflowers. Then we have the whole garden right here. There's the watermelon and the tomatoes. That's the whole meal. Eggs. Because, you know, what's a farm without eggs? This is really fun for a kitchen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fun to make this for a kitchen. Um, here's your vines and leaves. We might have a landscape quilter. You might be looking for some leaves and things for your landscape quilt if you would want to do that. And then we have more chickens on just a black background. These are tossed chickens. <laughs> so these are chickens that have been tossed. <laughs> They're going all different directions. It's not directional. Some of these other pieces were directional. This is not directional. These are tossed. In the trade, that's what we call them, is tossed. So is, there's a chicken wing or chicken so, leg joke somewhere Speaking of chicken wings, do you know any place that actually gives you the whole wing as one piece instead of like cutting it in two and giving you two separate pieces? I don't. And why do they do that? Why don't they just leave the whole thing I don't know, together? They get more. They get more to sell, probably. It's okay. about selling it. Chicken wire. Chicken wire. That always sells. And then, oh dear. <laughs> knocking things over yeah, the bolts are falling off the, the bolts rusty are tractor off. the <laughs> bolts are falling off the tractor when i picked up the tractor so here's your farm all tractor it doesn't say farm all but farm alls are usually red can you tell i live in the middle of indiana because if i was you know it was a green it would be a john deere tractor but it's a far massey ferguson or yeah and this if is it what was we know yellow would be a case and if it was yellow it'd be a case we this always, is we always had john deere and massey ferguson yeah, so this is, and the staff behind me are talking about, we, you, when you live in central India, the other thing that we can identify is the smell of manure. 
We can smell manure and tell you which animal it is. Cow which, or pig. Cow or pig or chicken. It's so exciting. Okay, and then here, this is the chalkboard look. This is just the corn. Love it. I love this too. Love this that. would be really cute in the apron. I'm just, this would be really, That's really cute. That's my apron right there. Yeah, That's this what I'm getting to make the apron with that pattern. I'm all about that. Yeah, and then I, I, we may even have some vegetables around somewhere. You could make the pocket out of vegetables would be fun. So this is really fun. This line is from Timeless Treasures. It's called Farm Stand. Um, I see some cute quilts coming out of this. We've got some uh, staff members who have farms and on farms. I think they're going to love having this around. So there you go. There's your puzzle and there's your fabric. They all go together. Um, and then the next thing we're going to show you is over here. There's This is an empty spot because they're getting ready to bring a line out. I'll show you that one in the back here in a minute. But this one down here I want to show you. Those of you who are Tim Holtz fans, this is just a few lines, a few pieces of fabric that we just thought were so fun for him. They're so bright. So here we are in two different sizes of cubes. Three different sizes actually, small, medium, and large. Okay, so we have the, this, let me put them in order here. Small, medium, and large in cubes, okay? And then this is like the jumbo and it's in canvas. So I'm thinking if you're, you know, wanting to do a bag, wouldn't this be fun with the outside and then do one of these for the interior and the pockets? We did that tote bag a while back that just so cr many creations tote bag that everybody loved, the tourist tote. Tourist tote. I think this would really lend itself to that in a really cute way. Um, the company is Free Spirit Tim Holtz and it's called Color Block and they're tiles. So just a fun little four little bolts that we thought would blend with a lot of different things and kind of go um, go far in your stash. I can see this going a long way in the stash. Binding, oh my goodness, would this be a great binding? Let's just think about that bias cut. Backing for a kid's quilt? Oh yeah, backing for a kid's quilt. It would be awesome for backing. You see that bias cut? If you cut yeah. that on the bias, what a great binding that would be. So, just a fun little little bitty line and then the other lines are back on <laughs> poor Nancy's desk we got one that's coming I want you to see called, that's a camper line it's kind of got campers in it stink and cute we're gonna go back there and look at that we'll see you back there in a minute this line is so hot off the press it's not even out of the back room yet always take the scenic route this is so fun it's all about transportation so you've got bicycles and campers and Vespas and little VW bugs and just the cutest, cutest, freshest, sunniest line. Um, if you have someone who maybe has a camper or who likes to camp or someone who just travels a lot, this might be a really fun line for them to have in their collection as far as a quilt made out of it. Travel bags would be great with this. This would be perfect for a tote. Um, and look at all the fun pieces that are in it. This is the one that has all the little campers. Campers, VW Bud, another camper. Hello, spring. That's really fun. Here's a border print for it. Placemats, tablecloths. Those would be fun. Here's the same print with a blue background, dark blue background, light blue background. Um, here it is in a real pretty blue, just the bicycles. I've got somebody that's a bicycle. I have a bicycle. I might need a lining for my basket. That would be cute. This has ginghams in it. I love the ginghams. Ginghams can be hard to find. Here we are again with a printed pedal on bicycle. And there's a pink truck. Look at that. We would see the red and the blue truck, but there's a pink truck. That's fun. Here's the bicycles in pink. These are real pretty little. Okay, you know what that's for? What? English paper freezing. Three-eighths inch hexes. No, you and those three-eighths inch hexes, you're killing me. You're killing me, Smalls, you're killing me. Here's a blue gingham. Here's a little white background of that same print. Nancy's trying to work. We're in the middle of her mess. I know, you sorry. Yep, you just run over us. There's the pink. <laughs> this, okay, little girl dresses right here. I'm surprised Nancy hadn't already bought some of this for little girl dresses. I know, I can see her make it. She's got all these grandkids she has to sew for. These would make pretty Easter dresses. Oh my gosh. I think we bought the line as much for the floral prints as we did for the um, 
actual feature prints. And here's another one. Life is a beautiful ride. You know, so many times you see the breast cancer Life is quilts. a highway? Life is a highway. So many times you see the breast cancer prints or, or those that are... Um, sometimes they... People don't want that, but to have life is a beautiful ride on a on a quilt for someone who's kind of going through a rough ride, this might help them feel better. So, you know, think outside the box a little bit. These are fun. Good choice. Okay, so that concludes the fabric for now. Peter took a picture and showed you all the fabric we're checking in. So what's new next week will be loaded with some really fun stuff. But I have some exciting news. Let's go in Lenine's office and tell okay, her. Okay, I'll follow you. You follow me? She don't know? She doesn't know. Has she been gone? We've been plotting and scheming been while she was away. Lenine. What? I'm going into Lenine's office. Oh, help me. Help me. Are you watching? What are you watching? Oh, our I'm Houston watching video. Today. Houston video. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, but... It's been a long couple of days. It's been a long couple of days. So here's our Houston. So I'm here to announce an exciting thing that's going to happen. Oh, dear. It's re you're going to like it. Okay. Are we having a retreat? <laughs> We're not having a retreat. Well, we are having a retreat next May. But for now, in our clearance department, oh, no. uh, on November, <laughs> November 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, we're going to do 20% off our already 40% off price. Oh, cool. Wow. I'm always the last to know what's going on in here. So, so that's the big news. That's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which means you'll be in here Wednesday till 7.30, so you have a late night to shop. You'll have all day Thursday, oh, all day nice. Friday, and all day Saturday. You're going to miss the first day, though, Peter. I'm going to miss the whole week. <laughs> he is. He's off that week. <gasps> I that's know. not fair. I know. So Lenine and I will have to do What's New video next week. Good luck with that, Lenine. <laughs> Well, okay. So anyway, we wanted to come in here and tell Lenine about the sale. Yeah, all right. Uh, Good luck with that, Lenine. Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> She's going to shop. Anyway, that's it for What's New This Week. We really appreciate you. Lenine's watching the um, Houston video. If you haven't gone to see the Houston video, you need to go see the Houston video. She's watching it on her machine right now. Looky there. Here we are in Houston. Is that Kathy Holden? And that's that Kathy Holden. I love Who it. Hi, Kathy. Uh, hi, Kathy. Oh, she can't hear me. <laughs> no. No, she can't hear you. So watch our videos. <laughs> Thanks everybody. We'll see you next week. Happy stitching. <laughs>